Harry is uh, my middle son. He's 20 years old. He's going to be 21 in August. And he was a surprise gift for us. He uh, was born with Down syndrome, and we did not know that. And it was an amazing, life-changing experience, as you know. Yeah. Yeah. We are the Dailies, uh, Michelle and Peter. Uh, we've got three lovely children, Alex, Madison, and Morgan. When Morgan was born, she had hydrocephalus, which is a minor birth defect. She had her shunt surgery to put that in when she was five weeks old. When she was 10 weeks old, it got infected with essentially the worst type of meningitis. As a result of her meningitis, uh, she is blind, she's nonverbal, she's spastic quadri quadriplegic, which means that she can move her arms and legs and stuff, but not with, not with a lot of control. But she understands everything that's going on. Our daughter Christine is an incredible, brave, courageous, and precious gift for us. She has a unique syndrome. She wakes up each morning starving. She eats her dinner, her breakfast, all of her meals. She's still starving. It's a very challenging, very complex syndrome. She's just incredible in how she gets through it. The situation with Morgan has really impacted our marriage. One of us is always caring for her and always with her, and so it, it takes up a lot of our time to care for her on a daily basis. You're given this special gift, this child with no instructions, and you have no idea what your life is going to be like and the challenges that you have to face day in and day out, and it truly is day in and day out. So it's almost like you don't even know how to be with each other. Yeah because you're so in the busy. You don't really feel deserving. Right. You know, he... Who are you as a parent? You know, your kid has all these challenges. You know, you think... You just keep going. I have never met people that are as outstanding as the people are at David's Refuge. They are always striving to find a way to make the lives of people with special needs and medical illnesses better. I think it's amazing what David's Refuge has done in, in terms of taking the idea that it's Im important for parents with special needs kids to spend time together and spend time as a couple. They helped encourage us to eventually do a David's Refuge weekend, which was the first time that we'd spent together uh, since Morgan was born. And we spent the first two hours of that talking about wheelchairs, because that's what we knew how to talk about. Uh, and we didn't think that we really needed to be gone two nights, but it took us about halfway through the first day to start talking to each other the way that couples talk to one another. It took that long to detach. I think David's Refuge has helped us as parents to be connected with other families that are going through the same thing as us, and we are able to connect with them and actually get our children connected with some of them. They've provided opportunities for us to um, get connected with people of the same experiences. Even when it's not a weekend, a lot of those informal get-togethers that they have are very, very impactful and it's, it's great to form relationships with other parents in similar situations. It's ironic that you meet strangers from all over the state and within minutes you're best friends <laughs> because you speak the same language, we can complete their sentences, and these are all the things that happen from David's Refuge and nowhere else can you get that support. For me, David's Refuge made me a better parent. It wasn't about being a better parent. It was about being a more patient husband. It wasn't about the kid, because we're going to do the kid anyway. But it made me more tender and more appreciative mm -hmm. of my partner. Yeah, because you get lost. You lose each other in the, in the busy and that extra layer of responsibility. So it reminds you of the importance of taking care of each other. Foundation. Right? Nurturing that foundation and that love. Boy, you know, that's how. <laughs>